Hello coaches, this is a short video that will help you get set up with your rosters on athletic.net for this 2013 cross country season. We are assuming at one point here that you already have an account. So I have logged in, notice that it says here log out. So I'm already into the system and in the upper left hand corner, once you log in, you'll see coach tools. If you single click on that, you'll see then Iolani High School here Iolani Middle School here, my two accounts. The um, high school account is for 9th through 12th grade, and the middle school account is for 7th uh, and 8th grade runners. Uh, that's how athletic.net athletic treats all of these uh, athletes. They want them separated by 7th um, and 8th, and then 9th through 12th. So from the Iolani High School, I'm going to click on Team Home right here, and that takes me to my home page. And you'll notice that I've already uploaded the meets that we are some of the meets that we are going to participate in. And I'll get back to that later. But for right now, this video is to help you add athletes to your team roster. Whether it's bringing on an entirely new roster or if you're updating your roster from a previous one. So I'm going to click on add athletes to your team roster. Notice that our roster has 0-13, so that's this season, and it has uh, a lot of our students, and their, their grades from last year have been updated. So Michael was a 10th grader last year, and this year he's an 11th grader. So athletic.net automatically updates that. Now, if there's somebody that has dropped from your team for this year, you can deactivate them for the year. But what we're going to do is, in this video, I want to show you how to upload athletic rosters or your roster, and it will not get rid of old members. It will just uh, insert the new ones. So in order to do that, I'm going to click down here at the bottom on an Excel document. And most of us have our rosters um, in Excel. So I'm going to show you uh, this type of file. So here's my roster file. I'm just using this as an example. These are fictitious names here. And let's say that this season, these are my new runners. So I'd like to add them to my roster. And so the first thing I'm going to have is uh, notice this uh, Don Smith is a 12th grader. And these are all my, my boys on the team. And so they're all the males, and they're going to go into that part. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a Save As. So I'm in Excel, and in File, I'm going to click on Save As. This is a little bit tricky. Notice that I'm going to go with Roster right here. Roster. I'll actually put it as Roster 1. and then. It's not an Excel workbook. Instead, we go all the way down to CSV MS-DOS. If you are on a Macintosh, you will see something like CSV for Macintosh or something of that nature. Go ahead and choose the CSV file. That's the important part. When we save it that way, uh, the other thing I like to do is I like to put it on my um, desktop so it's easy to find. So here I'm going to put desktop right there. Roster 1, comma, delimited, uh, excuse me, CSV. I didn't want that one. I wanted MS-DOS right here. CSV MS-DOS. There we go. Save. Now it's going to give me a couple of prompts. The first one says um, some are not compatible. Do you wish to keep this workbook? Yes, because it's all, it's all right. We just have some text. We don't have a whole lot of formulas or anything. The sec second thing that will come up here it will say something like it'll only save one sheet. So if you have multiple worksheets here, it will only save the open sheet. And that's fine because you should probably load them up one sheet at a time anyway. All right, I think we're done with this. I'm going to minimize the Excel document and come back into our athletic roster upload. In athletic.net, I'm going to now click Upload Athlete Roster. And it gives me a, a, an area to browse. So I prefer to do it this way, upload your roster by browsing, rather than trying to paste your roster in. So if we browse, we're going to look for that same one. Notice I had roster before. That was comma separated. And this one is also comma separated, but it's roster 1. So that's the one I'm looking for. I'm going to single, single click on that and then open. And there it is right there. So you can see it's put, put right in that, that spot. Now I'll click on Upload and give it a moment to bring that in. Now we get a couple of things to look at here. The first says, add these athletes to existing roster, or 
replace the existing roster with these athletes. So this is a way for you to wipe off all of last year's athletes and put on an entirely new and fresh roster. I'm just going to update my roster, so I'm adding these athletes to the existing roster. And notice in here it says uh, the boy's name is Bob, Lim, and Chris Obon. It is not uh, the opposite way. And notice it says first name, last name. And up here there's a little tab that says flip first and last names. I'm going to apply that and hopefully everything will look good. So Joe Evans, Connor King, Robbie Lamb, looks pretty good. Once I get that situation, and then it says match found, new. So that means that there are no matches for these people, and so they're gonna accept the roster and they will add that in to my existing roster. So I'm adding in some names that really don't exist, but there you see, right down the line there, there's Joe Evans, and it still holds on to my uh, roster from previous years. So everybody is in there and my new athletes. So now once you've gotten to there, that's the way that you want to upload your, your rosters into athletic.net. Then we're going to go back to Coach Tools, come back to our team home page. And at this point, we can click on any one of our meets, in this case, the first meet at Couple A. And underneath here, it says Register Athletes. And notice here, uh, we have our athletes here, and then for each of these athletes, I can click on what race I'm entering them in. Now, I do think it's important to enter them in a specific race, and if there's a child that's going to be at the same kind of race all season, then you'll get accustomed to just clicking on that one. Uh, I don't know that there are any ways to do this very quickly, so for teams with large numbers of athletes, it is um, a bit tedious, but it certainly is a lot faster than handwriting your entries on a piece of paper and turning them in on meet day. So we've come a long way since 1972. Um, so there we are. Once you have put them in, let's say I'm putting uh, Michael as a three mile junior varsity runner, his name gets bolded. And then as you work your way down, you'll see each child is bolded as you work your way down here. Don't forget though, before you exit this page to save the entries. All right, and we'll click that. Anyway, so then it'll say it's been submitted. I hope that helps to get you started. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me, and I will update uh, with another, um, another uh, video later on when we get closer to the other meets. Hope this helps. <clears throat>